Hi, I am Science Bob, and you are watching STEM Flicks, made possible by my friends at the Northrop Grumman Foundation, because their top priority is bringing interesting educational experiences to teachers and students in the area of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. See, STEM. Hey, you might not know this, but you don't need to be in a classroom to see how amazing science is, because science is, it's everywhere. In fact, it's in big things, and it's in little things. Science is in everything. All right, so to show you just how amazing science can be, why not show you an experiment that you can try at home? First of all, I will need my table. There we go. Now you're also going to need a clean plastic soda bottle, a 20 volume hydrogen peroxide solution, which usually comes from a beauty supply store. You're also going to need some liquid dish soap, a funnel, a spoon, some warm water, some dry yeast, you know, the stuff you make bread out of, and of course, always, some safety goggles. All right, well, looks like we've got everything in place and we're ready for our little science. First step, always, safety goggles on. Very important. Next, you're going to want to get your empty, clean soda bottle and fill that with about three quarters of a cup of your hydrogen peroxide solution. Now, because this is kind of irritating to your eyes and skin, you're going to want to ask an adult to do this. All right. Perfect. Next, to that, we are going to add a little bit of soap solution, probably about a tablespoon or five milliliters. What that's going to do is hold our bubbles together. And finally, of course, the option of some food coloring. I'd say about eight drops or so into there. A uh, lovely blue color. Great. That is all set to go. Now we have to mix up our yeast solution. And to do that, you're going to take uh, one packet of yeast, and to that, pour enough water, I'd say about a quarter cup of that in there, and stir it up until it's nice and dissolved. Now there's a good chance it might chunk up a little on you, but that's okay. You can just leave that chunk out. All right, that looks beautiful. Then finally, bring the funnel back into your bottle and pour your yeast solution inside. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking. That's some serious foam there. Now what's actually happening is the hydrogen peroxide is breaking apart. The little molecules are separating and the soap is holding it all together. And you can sort of see why we call this the elephant's toothpaste experiment. Now you might ask, that's cool, how can we make even more foam? Well, maybe uh, more hydrogen peroxide will work or, or maybe warmer water. You'll have to experiment to find out. But you should know that when you become a scientist, well, you can take a simple experiment like this and make it a lot bigger. Let me show you. We need to get rid of this and bring in this. Oh, random kid. Nice. All right, here's what we got, kid. Come on over here. This is hydrogen peroxide, sort of like the other, but this is actually 10 times more powerful. Impressive, huh? Yeah, we've also got the soap in here. We've got the coloring. And I think we're all ready to go, because I've also got another chemical here that's even more powerful than the yeast. All right, hand that to me. Careful. All right, I'm going to pour it into here, and once I do, we're going to want to step back, okay? All right, here we go. In three, two, one. But wait a minute. Is this really science? Oh yeah, this is really science. Believe it or not, this same reaction was used to power a rocket-powered jetpack and even the world's fastest rocket-powered airplane. All right, let it keep going. All right, you got to admit, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty neat. All right, well, hey, this is just the beginning. Check out the website, look around, try some of the home experiments yourself, because we're going to have more on the way. For now, I'm Science Bob for STEM Flicks. That is pretty cool.